My name is Lane Scarano. I'm the inventory manager at Blick in Brooklyn. I've been there for a little over two years now. One of my favorite things about working for Blick is the people I'm surrounded by. Almost everyone on staff is a, is a working artist. They're all really talented, and it's, it's just great to be able to bounce ideas off of each other, really take a look at their work, give them input, but really to get input back on my work. I'm a freelance illustrator. Um, I've been working at it for the last four years, and a lot of my work comes through word of mouth. A lot of it comes through um, the internet, which is great. I think when clients reach out and they see my work, they, they, they know pretty much up front what they're getting, and it's generally going to be a slightly surrealist but a realistic, figurative image that looks pretty much 100% hand done. A lot of my work is done in Photoshop, but the different media that I use to put the image together, I try to do at least 80 to 90% of that by hand, and then I finish it on the computer. My work purposefully tells a story within it, usually because it's in combination with a piece of writing, an article or, or a book cover or something like that. I like to have the image you know, make sense as a whole, even without the article, kind of be able to stand alone. But it's nice that as you read further into the subject matter, the image makes more and more sense. I'll start with the drawing. When I'm drawing, I really like using Canson products, especially Arches paper. Watercolor paper is great to make graphite drawings on. You can really work into the page and erase well without it ripping. And once the drawing is finished, I'll then either take some watercolor, gouache, or acrylic and go right on top of the drawing and actually add in some color. I also really like using Utrecht products whenever I can, especially they're made in Brooklyn. I live in Brooklyn. You know, it really uh, lends itself nicely. And it also works really well for the work that I do. And then I will scan everything into the computer and then I take my images and then I'll do some translucent color washes on top of that in Photoshop. I'll splice things together, and then I do a little bit of painting on there. And then um, the final image either gets sent off into the, the web, or I print it out and um, I have a printed piece. One way that I might stand out as an illustrator in the spectrum of, of all the work that's out there right now, what I found after really experimenting with a lot of different ways of painting and drawing and image making, that just kind of Doing what feels the right, like the most right for me and the most comfortable and what I really enjoy, I think that's how you kind of stand out, by not following trends and you know, just doing what feels good.